Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just want to talk about this R Studio um, and uh, how you you can remotely develop on a, or R using R Studio uh, server. Okay, uh, and this means you can also develop um, on an iPad, which pretty well was the main driving reason why I uh, took a look at the software. Um, so essentially, you download this uh, really good um, inter interact or in integrated development environment for R, um, and it's very popular. It seems they're getting popular, and um, I've worked with it a little bit. It looks pretty good, um, and uh, I do like it. Uh, so there is a server edition that is available, um, and uh, as far as I know, there's only two. Um, packages that you can get the Debian, Bantu, and CentOS, and uh, Red Hat. Um, I I did the Red Hat, um, and it worked great. Um, uh, and that's obviously uh, I should say that's for the desktop version. <coughs> now, the server edition, I was lucky enough to have my hosting company do the installation for me on a, a remote server. And uh, I was able to verify the connection and be able to log in into um, our studio on my iPad. Uh, and um, typically, what you'll probably need to do is, if your web hosting company can't do it for you, and most most web hosting companies uh, run CentOS um, on their servers, so uh, this is probably the option they'd go with. Basic instructions: um, if you need to do it yourself, you come through here. There's also another configuration area as well. Um, just Google this, uh, I guess, title here, um, and then you you have a number of options and parameters that you play with um, to get it working. I, I I shouldn't see no reason why it shouldn't be that difficult. But as I said, I just want to just to show that you can do our development, but on a, on something like an iPad or even um, probably like an iPhone or uh, or an Andrew uh, sorry an Android tablet or phone or whatever. But it's done remotely off of some kind of server that you uh, have. So this is something I verified works fine, um, and uh, I am now able to um, to do my development uh, using our on an iPad on a remote server, which is good. Uh, if I tried to do this with MATLAB, it would take quite a bit, including a, probably a two thousand dollar license for a MATLAB with a MATLAB mobile. So um, this is a pretty good option for me because it doesn't cost a penny. Alright, hopefully I'll help you out.